Fam guys, it's Beta Vlogs, and this video is the moving the fry from the 10 gallon into the 5 gallon. Uh, this is part two of the series, and let's get on with the video. All right, so it's the next day. Um, it's 6:30 or so, and I'm gonna be moving these guys into this tank. I got some water out of this tank and put some of this water in there. So some of the chemicals that were in this water, uh, bacteria, whatever, helping those guys live would go in this tank, circulate throughout the tank, and help it clean. <laughs> one of the rocks did, or one of the plants come out right there on the floor. Well, it's out, don't worry. Um, but I just have to super glue the thing back to it. But for right now, this should be big enough for these guys. Um, so yeah, let's move, let's move them in. So I took the thing and put it into a into a small box as you saw so that tank's gonna be a bit louder since there's not a lot of water in it so i think what i'm gonna do is just pick this thing up push in the water and then uh, as gently as i can i should say without having them out of the water enough of time and without shocking them okay this is scary i don't like taking my fish out of the water all right three two one Sorry. Alright. And they're back in the water. Alright. Alright, all four. Right there in the snail. So let me get this lid off and I'll come back to you guys. I forgot I had an iPad stand. Or a tripod, so let me just do that real fast. So get this off. I might throw the heater in here because it is a little cold. Um, I think the water is just um, not been working out too well. Or like, I put hot water in it, into it, but I don't think it's, well, I don't think it's been, uh, heating. It hasn't keep, it hasn't kept the thing too warm. So, I'm gonna throw that in that tank. Alright, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's one, two, three, go little dudes. There you go. Let me get this snail out real fast. Come on. Come on. There you go. I'm gonna throw him in there as well. I'm gonna turn this lid on. Hold on, I popped the light out. That's not too good. Alright, so I put some food in there and the filter. Filter, there it is. <laughs> The uh, heater, <coughs> excuse me. Um, there is one of the dudes. One, two, three. Um, they're so tiny, it's hard to see in these big tanks. Um, uh, but there, are, there they are. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, a two, a three, four. There we go. All right, so they're in this big tank with the snail. So the snail is going to be a huge help. Um, but I put the heater in. The heater is the three and a half uh, gallon heater, so it should keep the tank warm but not hot. Um, since this is a five gallon tank, um, I'm trying to figure out a way to block the current because if you can see, it uh, it just goes well as anything it goes in a circular motion. Um, so it gets uh, it gets sucked from this direction, so it's going like this basically. And I need to put something there, kind of right in the middle where the heater is, to block the current so these guys don't have a hard time swimming, um, since it is a five gallon tank. Um, the only reason why they had no problem here swimming is because they had two sides blocked, uh, three sides really, the bottom uh, and the two longer sides. These sides were diagonal, or um, the shorter sides like not this tank, but we're like this, so the filtration never really hit them too much. But this tank, they're free, so I think something that I need to do, need to do is either get the the sponge ball that I have that's uh, drying at the moment, and just right in the middle, right there, so the current blocks it, or make a borderline of plants. Sorry, tank, borderline of just plants, so it blocks it that way. Um, that's what I'm thinking I might do, um, 
is if they're still having a lot of trouble by a couple of days from now and all the plants are dry, I'm just going to redirect all the plants to the middle area. So the, these two plus like one other or two others or whatnot. So the current is blocked. So it's kind of a half circle current. So the, I'm hoping that most of the current will be on this side. Or the faster current will be here and then the uh, trees will be as a as a a block a blockade or a filter for the extra or the yeah blocker for the current so over here is a bit softer because these guys are small and I don't want them to be stressed out for the next <laughs> however long they live and fish don't live as long as if they're stressed out or if as they're in um, slow moving current I don't think the white rocks was a good decision since they're well, platinum or white themselves and I figured out a name for them it'd be called the A-Team and if you don't know what the A-Team is it's a show I think back in the 80s or 90s I don't know too much about it I knew there was I think five characters um, but since they're platinum um, I think that fits the name like platinum is like good and A like on a score is good so like the A-Team um, and uh, I think that will work out well. Um, the filter, I know, or the, why do I keep calling it the filter? The heater, it looks uh, kind of disgusting, but that's just because it's got like a film on it. Not a film, like a, I'm not sure, something on it that keeps it, like that was on it, but now it's kind of disintegrating off of it. I'm not sure why. I think it's because it's been in use so much. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video of about three days it seems like so that's gonna be it for this video so leave a like if you like this video comment just if i'm doing anything wrong and subscribe when you're here bye